and welcome to the five best targets to image in September. We will pick our three favorite objects to photograph as beginners, and we'll tell you why. We'll also be adding two difficult targets for our more advanced viewers. Let's get to it! What up guys, we're here to talk about the September beginner targets. And the first one we're going to bring up is the Bubble Nebula, which is NGC 7632, which is very interesting. It's like a perfect bubble in space. It's so beautiful and gorgeous, I love this one. And it's not really hard to get the bubble itself. The gases around it is what's going to be a bit of a challenge for the beginner target. Um, it lies really, really close to Messier 52, so if you'd like to, you can use a medium Telescope? Medium, medium, small, or small, yeah. medium or small telescope to capture it. <laughs> okay, so next we have my favorite, which would be the Cocoon Nebula. Uh, the Cocoon Nebula is really nice. It's like a, uh, a round, uh, reddish nebula. What I like about it though is there's a long, long, long trail, like a tail behind it. Um, that, not behind it, but on the side that goes uh, out very far and it's like a dark uh, tail pretty much. So when you capture it, make sure to look up uh, some pictures beforehand and know exactly where to place the nebula in your frame so you have the whole tail uh, in your image as well. That's why I love this nebula so much. Our third target for beginners is Pac-Man Nebula and for me, I thought I was like really excited because I like Pac-Man. I don't know about you guys if you're also gamers, additional to astrophotographers and astronomers. But uh, it was really, really cool. I don't think it really looks like Pac-Man, but I guess I can see it. Yeah, it's, if you spend enough time on it, you can really define, uh, you can see a defined shape of the Pac-Man Nebula. So yes, those were our three favorite targets for Beginners. the month of, yeah, for the month of September. Uh, now we have two extra ones for advanced astrophotographers. And those two would be, what's Stephen's the first one? Stephen's Quintet. That's, that's very small. Stefan's Quintet is five galaxies that are really, really close to each other. It's going to be really difficult, and that's why it's advanced to capture all of those galaxies all in one and make sure that they all look wonderful and amazing. Yeah, try to have a pretty large telescope, I would say, or at least medium-sized telescope. It's to fit in the frame. Because each galaxy is small and they're also very compact, so yeah. Um, and then my favorite one would be a very tricky one. Uh, don't attempt this unless you're really advanced. I think the designation is um, SH2-129, which is Sharpless 2-129 slash OU4. Um, so this is it the... It sounds very complicated. The Flying Bat Nebula, which is a, a nebula full of uh, HA. It's huge. And within it, if you're good enough, you can get uh, a bunch of data with Oxygen-3 to get OU4, which is the, what's the name? Uh, Squid Nebula. And um, this was discovered recently by Nicola Uters um, a few years ago, and it's just beautiful because there is so much red in the whole nebula, and there is a, a defined blue shape from the oxygen inside the, the red nebula. So it's, it's just so beautiful, but it's also very tricky. I mean, if you like space squids, this is definitely the one for you. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, those, those were the five targets for, for this month. Alrighty. And if you guys like, you can always check out these beginner targets on galactichunter.com online, or you can also get the Astrophotographer's Guidebook, which is available online as well through our shop. And it basically has all the targets that you need for all the seasons. So if you're looking to have this in your car for whenever you Think you might need a target it's definitely very helpful yep so we'll see you guys next time and um uh, guys